Hello everybody and welcome to Geopolitical Trends. My name is David Waralu. So good to be with you as always. As a geopolitical analyst, I ask, what is the geopolitical message China and Russia's naval exercises are sending to both the United States and Japan? In this video, I'm going to provide you my assessments about the significance and of course the timing of these naval exercises and place them for you within the context of the global geopolitical order. But before I do this, I'd like to extend my uh, sincere thanks to the channel supporters and members. And for you, if this is your first time, please make sure to subscribe and smash that notification button so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Let's dive in into these fascinating developments. A joint military exercises organized by the Chinese and the Russian military officially kicked off yesterday. It's going to be for about five days. It's almost a whole week, you know. Where it's going to be is in the Sea of Japan. The timing, the location are very, very crucial. And uh, of course, I'm not going to be in this video talking about the nature of the drills and so forth. Uh, because there is a message here that China and Russia are both sending to Japan and the United States. So, these uh, this exercises, naval exercises that is, came on the heels of the leaked information. And you know what the leaked information is all about? It's about the United States and Japan have been working on a plan to defend Taiwan. So, sources inside the Wall Street Journal quoted officials from the United States government uh, saying that the United States and Japan for more than a year have been working on a plan to defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese attack as Russia and China, of course, pre were preparing at that time for these joint naval exercises. But here is the thing. To soften the blow, uh, this official said, well, Japan's military will only take a part in a, any military action, will not, I take this back, will not take any part uh, uh, in the military action against China. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is this saying this to soften the blow because you and I know that if there is a military conflict between the US and China, this is big F, you know, Japan will be used, South Korea will be used, Philippines will be used, Australia will be used. So the reason they're saying this is to soften the blow for that. So Washington has urged now Tokyo to consider a role uh, for its military, uh, uh, such as, for example, tracking, get this guys, tracking Chinese submarines around Taiwan. So basically, we want to use Japan and, of course, Japan to monitor the supply routes. This is what's interesting. Those exercises, the message here that China and Russia are sending to the U.S. and Japan is that they're going to get together, get they, China and Russia, okay, jointly. If there is an attack on China, if there is, let's say, a conflict, Russia will join in with China against the U.S. and Japan. That is the, ma the message they're sending. Second thing is that those exercises are aimed at another objective, is to secure the waterways, especially when it comes down to Malacca Strait. This is the objective of this one. So, what Japan is saying, because once again, Japan wants to soften the blow. What Japan is saying is, it is ready to support U.S. military by providing only fuel and other supplies. But it refuses, Japan that is, to engage its military uh, uh, in, in Washington bid for a war against China. Ah, Japan will have no say and it will have no choice. It's no different than South Korea. It's no different than Australia. It's no different than now Philippines. You know, I don't see anything. There is another dimension to all this. 
The timing of the exercises, as I asked the question at the beginning. As geopolitical analyst, I have to think on the big picture. And the big picture has also to do with India agreeing to allow the installation of a U.S. naval hub in India. That's across the, the streets, uh, as we say, from China. But also what that naval presence is going to do to the waterways for a supply to China. That is another reason for the timing of all this. So, so of course, Japanese leaders refuse to discuss any role in the war on Taiwan because of public opinion opposed to the Japan's involvement in the conflict. Japanese people do not want a conflict. They don't want to get involved to begin with. But the Japanese government has no say. It has to obey the United States. Same again, like Australia, same like South Korea, and same like now Philippines. So, so and this is where I see the big problem. So, so Russia and China, uh, of course, when uh, China, China's defense ministry announced uh, uh, that the Russian armed forces will be participating in this joint military exercises in the Sea of Japan, he was sending a clear, loud and clear message to the U.S. and to all U.S. allies in Asia mainly, and there are only three you're going to count on, is Japan, South Korea and Australia. So that's the reason why the Chinese Defense Ministry made it public, announced. In addition to having the exercises being pre-scheduled, that means it was on a, on a schedule for that. So. But it also the exercises come in. That's why, guys, timing is so crucial. Nothing happens in a vacuum when it comes down to geopolitics. No. The Chinese and the Russians exercises, naval exercises in the Sea of Japan, it was followed right after the conclusion of the ASEAN conference in Jakarta, which was just last Friday. And why is this? It's because ASEAN made it clear that they want to stay neutral. And the U.S. is kind of trying to pressure them to side with the West. And they're saying no. Because ASEAN understand if they get involved, it's going to attract more conflict in their neighborhood. And they don't want to. So... That's what I said earlier, these exercises, it's according to the annual cooperation plan between uh, the Russian and the Chinese armed forces. Uh, China, uh, Russia agreed to send its air forces to participate in this called North, I'm going to put this in quote for you guys, uh, North Interaction 2023 exercises, end of quote here for that, which is organized by the Chinese. So. But that is what the, and again, I'm not going to focus on the nature of the drills, what type of weapons they're going to be used, uh, using. No, no, that's not what I'm going to be aiming at here because I want you to understand the big picture. Why now? Why the location, the Sea of Japan? What is the ob intended objective for that? And to whom the message is being delivered? That's one matter in all this. So... So this is why it's important. And that's why I wanted to come on the air and do this for you guys. It's very short, concise, to the point. So, so if you like the content of this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. I will really appreciate it. As always, remember, geopolitics impacts your daily life in more ways than one. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.